welcome to Tim Martin Farm. Today I'm going to be working with Pin. I don't know what we're going to call him yet. Call so. him Big Gray. Yeah, Big Gray. You going to be working with him today. All right, so Johnny's going to be working with the Big Gray here. We call him. He's a Big Gray. He's actually a stallion. He's two and a half years old. And uh, so he's been working with him a little bit, getting him used to the saddle blanket and that kind of stuff. So it's actually a pretty good little horse. So this horse, I don't believe, has been touched much before we got him. His demeanor is just pretty mellow for a stud. And uh, let him smell it, son. He's kind of mellow as a horse. So um, You can see the one in the background Ruthie's working with. That one's not as mellow. It's only a one-year-old, but... I believe they came out of the same herd. All right, Johnny, well, pull that back strap down a little bit. See the back one? Right there. Up there on the back of the saddle. No, the strap, son. The strap. There you go. All right. Will he let you walk behind him? Need some help? Yeah, I need to come forward a little bit. Pull it. So this is the first time we've had a saddle on him, right? Yeah, first time with the saddle. All right, Johnny, tightening and loosening, huh? So Johnny's done this quite a few times here with him. <laughs> And uh, getting pretty used to it, huh? He's licking his lips for it. Okay, just tighten it up there. So Ruthie is messing with this little roan colt, making him give his rear end, move around. Um, try to get him to lead. stubborn he doesn't like to lead so this big gray horse is uh he's not real big but he's he's bigger than some of them we've had so we call him big gray and uh anyways johnny's been messing with him shake that saddle around and move it around don't whip him just whip the saddle there you go That's enough. Shake the stirrups, that kind of stuff. Do the other side now. Johnny's doing the shaking the stirrups and making all sorts of noise and movement around him. And sometimes horses can't even stand this. They're too jittery and too flinchy, too flighty for that. And according to the people we got this horse from, he hadn't been really messed with a whole lot. So he's got a pretty good demeanor. And, um, and so sometimes the desensitizing with, uh, with the bag on the end of a stick or, you know, something like that, um, don't have to do it as much because they're already pretty gentle. So sometimes you move fast on them, sometimes you don't. All right, Ruthie, what do you want to do today? I'm gonna go try to lead around the uh, roan stud. Yeah? Okay, well he hasn't been led too much, has he? So, all right, let's do it. We caught the stud and we have him tied up there and our little colt. 
And so she's going to try to lead him around here a bit. Ruthie's been working with uh, Polka Dot for quite a while and her horse and enjoy riding it and it's time to get started on another one. So this is, you can see on the, show us what happened on the front of his face here. We came yeah. over the other day and he had all the hair missing on the front of his face. Yeah. And uh, it's not, hasn't busted through the hide, it just pulled the hair off for some reason. I don't know how it did that, but yeah. as you can see, and uh, it should grow back pretty quick. I don't know what he rubbed it on. So we, we separated separated all of them because he was with a couple others and they may have been picking on him. So we've uh, pulled them apart. Okay, Ruthie, let's lead him around. Lead him, go, go the other direction over there, hon. Hold pressure and then when he comes forward, release. Release that a little bit. There you go. Do it again now. There you go. Did it lean on it. There you go. Tell him good job. Okay, do it again. Pull him this way more. There you go. There you go. Say, come on, buddy. What's going to be his name? You need to come up with a good name for him. Studley? There you go. He is looking much better already, huh? Hey, keep leading him around. Put it around, just hold it until he moves forward. Hold pressure on it. Go ahead, turn back this way. Just get him used to following you. There you go. There you go, keep going. All the way up, just walk him around in circles. So this is Ruthie working with uh, Studley. And uh, he's starting to figure it out, huh? With the help of me walking behind him. So I'm going to come up here in the corner and you're just going to lead him around. And uh, if he doesn't, you have to get the butt rope on him, okay? okay. All right, get the butt rope. Alright, tell me how you're going to do this. So I'm going to get him used to the rope a little bit so then he doesn't freak out. Then I'm going to swing it up on him and then put it around his butt. Okay.
There you go, huh? And that's how you put a butt rope on, huh? Yep. All right, let's see you do it. Walk him around now. Remember, you pull on his lead rope first and then his butt. Looking good, sis. Keep going. So butt rope is a really good tool to use to help teach them to lead. It puts the pressure behind them because if you're just pulling on their head, their pressure's in the front. So this is a really good tool to use and plus it gets them desensitized to a rope and uh, helps them out a lot. So this guy's coming a long ways. He's, he's looking good. Ruthie's doing well with him. Hey, good job, sis. Thank you. Keep working him. Okay. All right, Johnny, so you're going to try to put your foot in the stirrup. So use this, set it next to him if you can, and kind of stand on it next to him. Let him smell it. There you go. Huh? He doesn't really like Yeah, he does. He eats out of them. He just doesn't know he doesn't like it. Just set it there. That's good right there. All right. Now, stand up on it. So Johnny's putting the first foot in the stirrup on this guy, and so far, so good. Plus he's getting desensitized to a stool. Johnny's a little shorter, so he's got a, there he goes. Just pet him, just pet him. Proud of switch sides now, huh? Go ahead and just put it up there, son. He'll move slowly, remember? Pet him from that side, pet him, pet him. Oh, Johnny's taking lessons from Z. This will be his second horse. He's gotten mellowed out here in no time. So. That saddle was my grandma's. So it's been in the family for quite a few years, that saddle has. Just stand there for a minute for him. You know what I mean? Shake it around a little. There you go. 
Stay on there. What's going on? Oh, all right, up and down, up and down, so this son. Okay, get up there and stand in there again. Stand there. Tell him it's okay. Be careful. Take your foot off. Let the pressure release. Pet him. All right, Johnny, you just keep doing this, okay, for a bit. All right, I'm going to go check on Ruthie. What do you think? I think he's doing good. Yeah, be careful. Read his read his body language, all right? All right. So if he starts moving, you want to make him to be okay with everything, okay? Okay. And I hope you enjoyed this. This has been really fun. He's been doing really good. And stay tuned. You'll get some more updates on him. And I think he'll do really good. Well, Ruthie, you're having a pretty good day with him, huh? Yep. So what's next, do you think? I think I'm going to work on petting him down all the way on the sides and stuff. He needs to learn to lead better, too, so keep working with that, all right? All right. Yep, Johnny's getting him to where he'll sit on him and uh, being very cautious, which he should be, so. So if you watch Johnny, when he gets off, he'll rub his foot on the butt. That's all part of our program here. We want him to get used to that. Some horses are very flinchy on the rear ends. And so this is part of what we do is we get on and off. We rub our foot back there and get some used to being touched back there, so. Well, buddy couple more times on and off and I think you need to brush him down and give him a reward say good job you know remember they learn better in shorter intervals you know a good evening welcome to our farm so today we're gonna deworm cricket with ivermectin yeah cricket's been rubbing her rear end on the panel so some sometimes that's a sign of it so she's probably about 800 pounds so there's 500 pounds worth in that one, right? Yeah. So we'll give her that plus a little. See how Johnny's holding their head up a little bit. It keeps them from spitting it out so most of the time. So.
He's good, bud. All right, well, that's how you deworm a horse. And she's good for another three or four months. Tell me how uh, Boots did tonight. Um, Boots did really good tonight. I worked him in the round pin. Um, got him loping in there and working with the rope a little bit. And then I rode him outside the pin, working him through trees and stuff. And then I brought him back brought him back in there and uh, just threw a rope off him. Got him used to have a rope on top of him, so did good. Good. Sounds good. If you like this video, subscribe to the notification bell. This is Tim Bard Farms, over and out.